Well, this was unexpected. I was working with my birds, my macaws today, hey buddy, and uh, some bleeding going on, I noticed, on the other thing, and found out that this guy has a broken blood feather. <laughs> All right, you guys are always asking about pin feathers. I'm gonna show you what they look like because Comet is molting. He just had a bath, but he's mostly dry. See some wet spots, but I'm gonna show you some pin feathers on his head. Let's find some, buddy. There's one. So you see how it's more of like almost a needle looking thing? And then you can actually, not all birds like this, but you can see little flakes are coming off. And that's from pinching the outer part off. You know, you got some on your head mostly, but let's see if we can. Can you put your head down for me real quick? Hi, some. Now they're really little, so they're gonna be hard to find. So I'll show you his tail instead. So here on his tail, he has two feathers coming in, and that is what's wrapped around. So that's what happens on his head as well. You get this wrapped around. And uh, this is what they preen off. So they can literally peel this off of the feather. You can see that? I can, I can peel it off myself. And then the feather, the new feather comes in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being my model. Thanks for being my model. <laughs> well, this was unexpected. I was working with my birds, my macaws today, hey buddy, and uh, some bleeding going on, I noticed, on the other thing, and found out that this guy has a broken blood feather. Yes, in trade of letting me stop the bleeding on your tail. Hi, <coughs> I know. I know, buddy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's actually pretty bad. I know. 
trying not to touch it so it doesn't hurt him. Dave should be home soon. Definitely have stopped the bleeding. But it's painful for this guy. You guys can see that. It's just a little bit, but it's painful. I know. I'm being very good about it. Oh, so. Buddy, it's not gonna be the best day for you. It's not gonna be a very good day for you. I know. Did you look in his cage he used to be in? Yeah, it didn't happen in his cage. It happened while he was hanging out on the play stand. I think maybe when I put him and Tusa together, he um Yeah, I think they were preening each other and I think maybe he got a blood feather. Yeah. I'm not doing anything right now. He knows it's gonna get worse. You can still eat that. Ah. You know some is up. Um, so this is a great reason to always have your Brody first aid kit. If you don't have one, you can order them off of Amazon. This is the one I have that I keep. I keep multiples. So we have them in our trailer for our bird trailer for when we travel. We have them at home. Oops, sorry, buddy. Um, so we also have them here at home and it has this septic powder that you can use to stop any bleeding to clot it and stuff. Um, I know some people use like cornmeal and things like that. Where? Oh, down here? Yeah. That was from before I clotted it. Let me just check. And then there's two other drips over there by you. Yeah, that was from before I, mean, before I clotted it. I know, I'm just... But thank you. Buddy, you know something's up, huh? So you can definitely tell it's tender. This thing is painful for this guy. Um, I got really scared because I noticed quite a bit of blood and could not tell where it was coming from. It wasn't just dripping obviously off of something. I actually thought maybe he was pooping blood at first when I saw it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like. This is the little bit from when I moved him and tried to figure out where it was coming from. Is that? And then there was a couple bright red spots. So that was when I saw it on the other stand and moved him. But if you look, all I saw was this dot of blood here on the right side which was not enough to go off of. I was like, where is it coming from? And then when I started examining his body and he didn't want me to touch his tail, which is not normal for him, I knew that the pain was coming from his tail. So this is the place stand that him and Tusa were on. Some nasty poops for you. And this was the blood that I originally saw and like freaked out. And I examined each bird one by one determined it was not Tusa or Jinx, because I had all my macaws out, but Jinx was over on this play stand. So I knew by examining the bottom it wasn't him, so he went away first, realized it wasn't Tusa, put him away, saw something was up with this guy, source of the feather. By then it, it had stopped bleeding as much, completely clotted it and stopped the bleeding, and now I'm just waiting for Dave to come in and be my reinforcements to help put a complete end to this. Um, this is really interesting because this issue was something I was thinking about filming while I was in Australia with a vet. But I remember thinking like, well, I don't really want to talk about it if I can't show it. <sighs> so I guess I should have videotaped it <laughs> uh, with the vet and just you've been able to use this stuff. so. Um, but now I'm able to talk about it. So it's really important to understand what to do when you have a broken blood feather and the first thing is just stop the bleeding. Um, 
first and foremost, stop the bleeding. I will leave a link in the description to a really informative blog post on the subject. Um, yeah. Ah. Second thing is try to prevent the bleeding from happening. Step two requires ah. Dave. So I'm waiting on that one. But I will show you guys what it looks like. Ah. So I'm really not sure how this blood feather suddenly got broken. Um, my only thought is that I was doing some flight training with ah. Tusa and Jinx. Comet wasn't really wanting to participate. When he took one flight, um, a feather came out, like just molted out. So they're all molting pretty heavily, which usually makes them uncomfortable for flight. And so he was the most reluctant. And then him and Tusa were preening. So I'm wondering if Tusa might have accidentally done it or. He's coming in soon. He's just trying to talk. Okay, thanks. this helps you guys I hope you enjoy seeing some of this those of you that are into this side of things I thought it was really interesting to understand the inner workings kind of of a feather because for the most part I only see molted feathers and molted feathers are hollow and so to see an actual blood feather and understand that those are that's a lot of blood and that's a lot of veins going in there um, I don't know I just thought it was really cool and educational so hope you guys enjoyed this day more than me or Comet it's a little too exciting for us Thank you.